Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a spinach and artichoke vegan pasta with a creamy Alfredo sauce all in one single pot. Well, actually I used a large shallow pan, but that's besides the point. The point is that this recipe is healthy, but delicious. And it's so, so easy too, because you literally just put everything in a pot or pan and cook it for like 10 to 12 minutes and then you have a delicious meal. I posted a recipe for a one pot vegan mushroom stroganoff a few months ago and so many of you guys have loved it. Honestly, it's the most popular recipe on my blog so I figured I would make something along those lines but a little bit different with some more fresh ingredients. Maybe you can make this for a date night or just an easy weeknight dinner. Honestly, I'm pretty sure you guys are gonna love it. I thought it was so good and just as good as that other recipe too. Anyways, that's enough chit chat and rambling for now. So let's just get into the recipe. All right, so additionally for this recipe being one pot, we only need 10 ingredients to make it. So to start out, you're going to add a splash of water or vegetable broth into a pan with some minced garlic. And you're just going to mix that around and saute it until it becomes fragrant. Then we're going to add in some artichoke hearts. I'm using quarter artichoke hearts and my artichoke hearts are also from a can. If you are avoiding the use of oil in your diet, uh, I would recommend canned ones because they usually don't have oil, but you can also just get them from the jar and just drain the oil off of them as well. So after we're going to add in our seasonings, we have some nutritional yeast, some red chili flakes, and some black pepper. Then we're just going to mix everything to toast the spices a bit and make sure the artichoke hearts are well coated. Then we're going to place our pasta into the pot or pan and spread it out a bit just to make sure it's kind of covering the bottom surface area of the pot. You can also push the artichoke hearts aside so you get more pasta to pan bottom coverage. Then we're going to pour in our liquid. We're using vegetable broth to impart more flavor into the pasta. And then we're just going to begin the cooking process. So you want to bring the mixture to a simmer over medium low heat and keep it at a simmer the whole time. And you're going to cook the pasta for the longer recommended portion on your pasta packet. So for these noodles, it was around 10 minutes for me. And then you just keep stirring them to make sure that none of the noodles are sticking together and that all of the pasta is cooking evenly. As you can see, it already gets kind of creamy just from the starch in the pasta. But now we're going to add in our final two ingredients, which is the juice of a fresh lemon and some cashew butter. And this is going to give it that really creamy Alfredo-like uh, texture and just flavor to the sauce. Just kidding, we have one more ingredient. We have to add in our spinach, and I'm using baby spinach. And then you're just going to stir the spinach in until it wilts. You don't have to have the heat on for this. The pasta should be hot enough just to wilt the spinach on its own. But after you mix it in, you are ready to serve. So I placed my pasta into a bowl, and I topped it with a little bit more red chili flakes as well as some nutritional yeast for some extra cheesy flavor. And there you have it. This recipe is seriously so easy. So I really hope you guys try it out. Also, it tastes really good too, so. And that is how you make a vegan spinach and artichoke one pot pasta. Honestly, you do not even have to use spaghetti for this recipe. You can use any noodles you like. You can use bow ties, macaroni, fusilli. To be honest, I don't know any more pasta names. I just kind of eat it and think it tastes good. But what I do know is that this recipe is seriously so, so delicious and I really hope you guys try it out. And if you do, leave a comment below and let me know what you think of it. Also, if this is your first time seeing one of my videos and you're new to my channel and you like what you see here, feel free to hit that little subscribe button right down there. I post two new videos every single week. And for everyone, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video and make or just stare at my recipes on a screen. Even if you just look at them, I think that's pretty cool too. All right guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.